My name is Paige Dickey, and I am an elementary school principal at Rinkin Elementary in Georgia. My husband's name is Travis. We have two boys. Walker is 10 and Connor is 8. We were in church and they were talking about what are you giving back and I started thinking, well, you know, we're not super wealthy so we don't have a ton of money to give back, but I'm a decent mom so maybe we could provide a home for a child. We didn't want our boys to be displaced by a baby at the time. They were only five and seven. I registered with Adopt US Kids, and then I would spend probably three or four hours at night after the kids went to bed looking. Um, my husband laughs and says I probably knew every child between the ages of 10 and 16. The teenagers don't really have a lot of people who want to adopt them, it seems, but they still need a home. So of course, I had tons of reservations and so did my husband about all the scary things that can happen when you adopt a teenager. I remember when I first saw Brittany's profile, she looked like she was beautiful, like she had such great potential, but it looked like nobody had ever really helped her in any way do something with that potential. When Brittany first came here, it did not seem like it took her a while to feel comfortable at all. She told us later she didn't feel comfortable for a little bit because she was surprised just at the normalcy of things. She was really good with the boys, and you could tell she would make a great big sister, and they just bonded to her instantly. <laughs> Travis and Brittany ride to school together every day. He says lots of times she's doing her homework, <laughs> which means she didn't do it the night before, whereas I would jump on that, he does not. She does not think I know anything. I feel like she's more naggy than other parents, <laughs> but I know she's just trying to do it for the best, so. She does think I pick out good clothes, so I have that going. The other day, I picked out something for her secret sister for cheerleading, and she came and said, Mom, you are the most amazing mom. And then she asked me a question, and I said, oh, no, 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 no. You go write that down and sign it, and then we'll talk. We've had some drama with Brittany, but nothing outside the ordinary that my friends don't have with their teenagers, and actually it's less than my friends have had with their teenagers, because Brittany appreciates having a, a good family and a good home, and. Um, she knows what it could be, and even though she is 15 now, and she's a teenage girl, um, she's a good teenage girl. When it was just the four of us, our family was a lot um, calmer, but it's, now we have Brittany too, and it just makes it even more um, fun. I can't imagine life without her now. She definitely brings a spark to the house and an energy level that we have always had, but she just adds another wattage to it. I know when I said to somebody, I said, I just don't think I'm a very good teenager mother. We fuss a lot. And they said, oh no, that means she was meant to be yours. That is normal. 